Well, today we're going to the historic Ayers Hotel in Smithville, about 20 miles from here. The white nun is thirsty. That must feed the machine. We're heading for historic Smithville. What do you think? Just a little ride down this here country road. With heavy traffic, three cars. Nobody behind me. Alrighty then. Well, I had to just stop and rescue a turtle. I do that all the time. But that's the first one this year. And it's pretty early. Nice and warm and mid 80s, still heading towards Smithville. Alright. Not much. Oh, you weren't coming. No, oh, why wouldn't I come? I left you a message on your cell phone. Uh, was it there when I left? I had to stop and rescue a turtle. Oh, you did? Yeah, gonna let him go here in Smithville, a whole other county. The road that I live on to a different name. Yeah, we're just discussing how we love having to change our address yeah. with actually, without actually having to move. Yeah. All right, I'm going to let go of this little turtle here in Smithville. Hope you like it. Run away! That's it, run away! I haven't found anything yet. Sure is a pretty place. Lots of gingerbread and all like that in the middle of reconstruction right now. But I tell you what, I ain't found nothing. I found nothing. What'd you find? Him too, okay. So I think we may be blowing out of this place and going somewhere else. Because I don't see nothing. This place has been pounded too. I've had no luck at all here. But this is a beautiful house. Look at that. Ain't that go. something? And Ron just found a toasty buffalo nickel. I don't know, maybe when you clean it up, you might be able to get a date off it. Who knows? I thought they put the uh, date on the buffalo side. No. You sure? Because I don't see any room. Right below the Indian's neck. Yeah, I, I don't see nothing. Right that, where it's scraped all off. That's toasty, toasty, toasty. Pocket change for a long time. <laughs> well, everybody, we're back here in the Mini Hamilton site. I'm here with my stepson, Chris. Hi, say hi. Okay. Hello. What's in your yard? Yeah. Uh, um, I just dug this hole, and you know I hate digging deep, deep holes, but I found the top of that pocket watch I found a couple weeks ago. Doesn't look like there's any fancy on it, so it's nothing. But there's more stuff in the hole. Check it out. And I see silver. Look at that. Check it out. That is a 1909 barber half dollar. Look at that. That's a bucket lister. I don't have one of those yet. It's a purdy coin. But you see how silver comes out of the ground just like new. Well, clean. Anyway. Two items. Yep, more stuff in the hole, more stuff in the hole. Oh my God, check it out. You do, I think you just picked something up. Did I? I think so. It does, look, oh, check it out. You did pick something up, didn't you? Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, sorry folks. That is an 1847 large cent. No way. Look at that. And it's clean too. Check that out. I guess they're bronze. That is pretty neat. Oh man. Two bucket listers in the same hole. No way. 
And remember I said I hate digging deep holes? I may just change that philosophy. All right, we'll catch you later. Say goodbye. Bye. Oh, yeah, I got a good signal here. Let's see. That's where it is. Well, I hate digging deep holes, but I did change my mind and... <coughs> ah, sometimes it pays off. Look. Two barber dimes. Yeah, man. The dates are... The dates are... Oops. <laughs> nice view with that camera there, baby. Yeah, let's see. This is a... I don't know, 1909. This one is a 1914. Yeah, man. One dime. Check it out. Two in the same hole. Again. But that's it for me today. I'm going. I can't push my luck. And it's going to rain. I can feel drops already. But them two dimes were masked by them two nails. And I got weird readings, so I figured let me dig it anyway. But look how deep that hole is. That's every bit of eight inches. Maybe more. I don't know. We'll catch you on the next hole. Okay, folks. Okay, that's not too bad. A one-hour hunt. We got three pieces of silver. Barbered half dollar and two barber dimes. A large cent, oh yeah, and a stinking Lincoln. So we got five coins altogether. That's, I'd say that was a pretty good day for a one hour hunt. Oh yeah, and, a, and the pocket watch piece that I've been missing from the other pocket watch. Yippee! All right, that was a good day. One hour hunt. Yes, sir. This is a very productive site, and I love it here, so I'm going to keep coming back and keep coming back until I turn every inch of the ground over at least once. Nah, not really. But I will dig every deep target from now on. Sign it off. What's in your yard? Say it. What's in your yard? Oh, he, he has no enthusiasm, but he doesn't have a metal detector either, so how much fun can you have Just watching somebody you. else? Well, everybody, I'm back here at the Hamilton site one more time. Today I'm going to try something I like to call nickel tickling. I'm going to X out everything on my Ace 250. Everything but nickels and one on either side of the nickel. And we'll see what we do. It seemed to work good the other day at the Rainbow. I found a bunch of nickels. We'll see. Catch you on the first hole. Well, there's my first score. Nickel tickling. It seems to work. Because that sure looks like a nickel. It is. It is a buffalo nickel. See that? Wow. 19.36. You know what? I'll take it.
This sounds like a good signal. Reading in the nickel and bouncing to a quarter. So, I don't know, we'll see. I'll tell you. Okay, we're gonna do a live dig. What do you know? Seems like it's right there. Well, I dug the hole. Pinpointer says. Pinpointer says it's right here. Oh my goodness, that looks like silver. It is, it is a silver half dollar. Got the American Eagle on the back. I just love how silver coins come out of the hole looking like you dropped them yesterday. And oh my God, it is a walking liberty. No kidding. Hey, I'll take it. Look at that. And check the hole, always check the hole. Something else in there. No way, more silver. That is a mercury dime. I haven't found one of them yet this year, nor a walking uh, liberty either. So, this is a nice little hole. Maybe there's more stuff. I'll let you know. So here's the take from that hole. We got a 1944 walking liberty in very, very nice shape, but it's a little warm. Backside looks real good. Look at that. Ain't that something? And we got us a 1943, it looks like. I can't tell what my glasses on. 1943 Mercury Dime. That's pretty cool. Both in one hole. Take a photograph. Okay. And I searched around a little more in this hole where I found the Walking Liberty, the Mercury Dime, and another Buffalo Nickel. I'm telling you, this nickel tickling setting on the Ace 250 works like a charm. Holy mackerel. All in one hole. Yeah. When Ron gets here, he's going to be jealous. Another good signal here. It's ringing up as a nickel, but also a dime. All right. I'll bite. I'll dig a hole. Tell you what I find. Well, I found something in the hole. Got a hole in it. kind of silvery flavored. I'll brush it off, let you know what I think it is. Back soon. Well, since I've been so lucky today, I'm going to let Ron do the extraction, but I see silver down in the hole. Can you see it? Can you see that? Probably not. Anyway, go ahead, Ron. Right. Do the extraction. Oh. What is it? Oh. What? Barber. Is it another barber dime? It's a Damn, barber. just another barber dime. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, man, I'll take it. Any, and that's pretty clean. Yeah, real clean. I'm telling you, all the silver comes out of 1914. 
but it was pretty deep that's a good six yeah. seven inches there nice find it was right under this big chunk of iron which that's all my machine would show was that but I got the ace 250 and it's treating me real good you hear that Garrett you can send me a new one if you wanna I'll take a 400 <laughs> how about it guys look I'm finding silver like it's gone out of style and I still haven't rechecked the hole this is the reason that you wear gloves see that there and I'm not wearing gloves, so that should show you how intelligent I am. There's something in this hole, and I keep chasing it all around, so I'm going to expand the hole again. Already six inches deep. We'll see. There's something you don't see every day. A clear quarter. Well, a quarter-sized piece of glass. That really is odd. Huh. Oh well, there's still stuff in the hole. I'll be right back. Well, whatever it is, I think I got it out of the hole. I don't see nothing. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. What I see, another buffalo nickel. I'm gonna prank Ron. I'm gonna prank Ron and let him find it. Okay? Don't tell him. You'll have to see it in the video. I found me a nice V nickel in this little hole, deep hole. It's a pretty thing. Discolored on one side, but they still come out pretty clean. I don't get it. And I got a big chunk of uh, cast iron. Don't know what it is. All right, this may be really close to my last hole for today because it's. Eight, over 80 degrees. Ron is in the sun. I mean in the shade. I'm here in the sun. Where the good finds is. He just found a standing liberty. And I missed it. I'm glad you left it. There you go. I had to leave him something. You know. I'm going to make him give me back my nickel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. He found it fair and square. All right. I'll see you on the next hole. Alright everybody. I'm getting ready to bail. I've been here a good three hours I think. And uh, we're going to go over what we found. Rock and Ron found a nicked up Indian head penny. 1935 buffalo nickel. And a who knows what date standing liberty which is really nice it's amazing how the some of the stuff comes out of the ground looking like the day it went in and some kind of some kind of button gizmo and enough iron to start his own scrap yard yes I do <laughs> and I found this is my metal all my junk stuff Stuff. and I was trying that nickel tickling today and it seemed to work pretty darn good so I got me a V nickel a uh, a uh, I can't tell what year it is oh yeah there it is 1912 or 1914 yeah, 1912 V nickel barber head nickel a Nineteen thirty-seven Buffalo nickel. A nineteen fourteen Barberdine. Can you see that? 
it is a nice coin. I can read everything on it. One thin dime. And a mercury dime. 1942. Right near the end of the war. There you go. Pretty, pretty. A clear quarter, otherwise known as a lens from somebody's spectacles. And my favorite find of the day. 1944 Walking Liberty half. I don't have any of those. That's a bucket list for sure. Actually, two on today's. I don't have a Mercury dime. And I didn't have a Walking Liberty anything. So. I did real good. I'm happy. And a mystery item. Don't know what that is. And like I say, some cast iron, this, that, and everything else. And I think I'm going to say goodbye to the mini Hamilton site for today. Which is to say, we will be back mm -hmm. probably multiple more times. Ain't that right? That is for sure. And what do we, we say? What's in your yard? That's what I say. What's in your yard? Or in your neighbor's yard or your friend's yard. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Dig it up. They don't care. <laughs> Nobody will say nothing. Especially if it's your neighbor. You just tell them you're looking for earthworms. Because we find plenty of them. We should take up fishing, not just dirt fishing. I get all the bait I need every time I go out. Thanks for coming along with me today. I had a good time. I dug good stuff. You can too if you get out there and look. And no matter what you say, the good stuff is deep. Deep, deep, deep. All right. Next time. Bye. Okay, y'all. Here's my recap. Half of the stuff in there, half of the junk in that bowl, and all of that junk came out of the holes that I dug today. That mystery item. Okay. And we did all right. We did really all right. We got us a Walking Liberty 1944, a Barber Dime 1914, 1942 Mercury Dime, one two V nickels, nineteen twelve and eighteen ninety nine I think it says. Oh three V nickels. Eighteen ninety eighteen ninety eighteen ninety. Nineteen thirty seven Buffalo. Some kind of spectacle lens and we got a bunch of clad. All kinds of dimes and nickels and stuff like that there. Nothing old. Just stuff. So all in all, it was a great day. Look at all that stuff from this place that's been pounded so hard over the years. So I'm a happy camper. I have added to my collection. I got a couple of bucket listers in there. And it was a great day hunting with Ron the Digger. He's also the pastor and the pharmacist. And he got himself a brand new car. Well, a couple years old. But uh, they recalled his Volkswagen because of that scandal. And the money he got for his Volkswagen, he bought this. Wow. I'm hip. I wish I could say that. Anyway, God is with the man. Apparently, he's with me too. And... You know what I end on. What's in your yard? It could be that stuff. But you got to look to find out. So, later, later, be good. Dig the holes deep. Dig them often. And dig them everywhere. Be good, y'all. Oh, yeah. As an aside and an add-on to that last little bit of video, I found the two coins I thought I lost this morning. 1906 Indian head absolutely perfect and a 1934 I think 
buffalo nickel. I thought I lost them, so. But there you go. In addition to everything else, I got them too. Okay. Bye.